The Power Rangers is a franchise that has 30 years of history and has many curiosities and secrets that some are already well known, but others are only known by the most fanatical fans of the franchise. Write in the comments how many of these curiosities you already knew. Let's start with the most famous of all, the origin of the Power Rangers. Many people who are not very close to the series think that Power Rangers is an original story from the United States, but the reality is that this franchise is an adaptation of another series that comes from Japan called Super Sentai. Another thing is that the series was not adapted from the beginning of Super Sentai, but in the season number 16 was when they began the adaptation for the United States. Despite being an adaptation, it really has many changes since in America only the action scenes are used when the Rangers have their suits on, but the whole story has to change in order to create a story that is more adequate for the American culture. One of the interiorities that is only talked about among fans is about the actors and what one of them suffered inside the film set. The actor David Yost, who played the Blue Ranger Billy, suffered harassment because he is gay. This series began in 1993 and in those years the harassment towards homosexual people was big since there was a lot of ignorance about the subject. Because of this, this actor was out of the franchise for many years, but now he is back for the 30th anniversary. Due to the budget and the problems of having to adapt a Japanese series, many of the scenes we see in the Mighty Morphin series are constantly repeated. The best known example is the Zordon scenes since the actor only recorded several takes and these were the only ones he had to do since the production team only repeated the take when they needed it. Another example of this are some scenes of Alpha 5 where we can see that in the first episode, he had different shoulders than those that would later become the official shoulders of the suit. In some shots you can see him with the old shoulders because they are scenes that they could continue to reuse. Today, it is normal to see characters that cross over to other series or movies, but in 1998 in Power Rangers in Space, the Rangers teamed up with the Ninja Turtles. This is something that was so well liked that there are even several comics with these crossovers, as well as a line of Ranger Turtles toys. The original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers theme song called Go Go Power Rangers is the most famous theme song of the franchise and has become an iconic song in popular culture. This song was used for the first seasons and was also used in the Alien Rangers season with some slight changes. The curiosity I bring you today is that your phone keypad can produce the tunes of this song when you press 332,393 to the beat of the song. Much of the first seasons were filmed in New Zealand and the curious thing about this is that the series was banned in this country. After watching the first season, parents began to complain because they thought that the Power Rangers settled all conflicts by fighting and that children would do the same, so the country decided to cancel the series. The Mighty Morphin series has 145 episodes in total and Billy appears in every episode. In addition to this, he also appears in the next 10 chapters of Alien Rangers and is the only character in the series to make it. Many say that Alpha also appears in all the chapters, but it is not so, since he does not appear in chapter 5 of the first season. However, we have to give him an honorable mention since he appears in all the chapters from Mighty Morphin to Zeo, 
except in that chapter, number 5. If you are not that much of a fan of the series you might not know this fact and that is that the Yellow Power Ranger was really a man. To explain this, you must have understood the beginning of this video since I said that Power Rangers is an adaptation of a Japanese series, and the American version used the action parts where the Rangers had the suits. In the Japanese series the Yellow Ranger was a man, but in the American version she was a woman. This is why in the American version when the Yellow Ranger has her costume on, she has a bigger body like a man. We all know that Megazords are the combination of several Zords to form a giant warrior Zord and normally only 5 or 6 Zords are used to form this Megazord. In the Power Rangers RPM series, they wanted to go a little further and have a Megazord called the RPM Ultra Zord that uses 12 Zords to make the combination. After 30 years of history Tommy Oliver still holds several records that no one has been able to beat. He has been the ranger with the most appearances with a total of 200 episodes, besides appearing in 8 different series. He is also the ranger who has made more color changes since he has been the green, white, red and black ranger. Another record is that he has been the only Red Ranger in two different teams. The budget in Power Rangers sometimes caused problems and curiosities. One of these cases are the costumes of Power Rangers SPDA squad. If we look at the helmets of this team of evil rangers, we will be able to see that it is the same as the Power Rangers in Space Team. They just put the SPD logo on the helmet. The Power Rangers series was adapted from Super Sentai, but... What inspired Super Sentai? Before the Japanese series there was a Spider-Man series in Japan as Marvel had made an alliance with Toei and this allowed them to use the Spider-Man character and make any changes they wanted. In this series Spider-Man had a flying car that was attached to a giant robot with which he could fight giant monsters. If you like Power Rangers, like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Power Rangers curiosities.